Hello, thank you for joining us. An investigation by BBC Yorkshire has revealed that hundreds of gay men and lesbians from Southeast Asian communities are using websites and forums to arrange marriages of convenience. Many feel that pressures from family and their community means they can't declare their sexuality. They fear it would bring shame because their religions do not condone same-sex relationships. Sabia Pafez has this report. I wanted my family to have the wedding that they wanted, to make them happy, to make them proud. Khalid is a gay Muslim living in Leeds. For eight years, he was married to a lesbian in a marriage of convenience that allowed them both to hide their sexuality. There was a lot to think about. It wasn't just, yeah, let's get married, and that will get our families off our backs. There was, where are we going to live? What the living arrangements are going to be? When are we going to see the family? It took us three years in planning. Their families believed it was a typical heterosexual marriage, but in reality, the couple lived apart and led entirely separate lives. We'd meet up on the M62 and go in the same car to see the family. On an emotional level, because you're living an additional lie on top of the lie of being gay, it does get to you. The pressures do get to you. Marriages of convenience are not new, but whereas before, Asians who are lesbians or gay might have found it difficult to find potential partners, now the internet makes it easier and provides them with the anonymity that they need. One online forum we've seen has over 1,000 posts about marriages of convenience, whilst another one has almost 300 current members from the UK. Carmen Ivana Helpline, how can I help you? Carmen Ivana is a human rights charity based here in Yorkshire. They say they've seen a rapid increase over the past two years in the number of calls they're getting from Asian LGBT people. We're dealing with the tip of the iceberg. I believe the story of the marriages of convenience and the issues of LGBT communities is a very much a hidden issue out there. The extent of the problem is going to be far more than what we are seeing and hearing. Being gay is not about sex, it's about falling in love with someone of the same gender as yourself. Matthew Mahmood Ogston was engaged to marry his partner Nazim. But in 2014, Nazim committed suicide just two days after his family confronted him about being gay. Why can't people just accept me? Matthew now goes into schools like this one in Leeds to try and change attitudes about homosexuality. The way we change these attitudes is to have conversations like this, more conversations, more school talks, more university talks, more work in the media, um, but more importantly to go into the communities themselves and actually talk quite openly about love, unconditional love and what might happen to their own children if, sadly, they're not um, accepted for who they really are. I think the lack of awareness um, that causes a lot of trouble in society. I think people need to be more open-minded about different people and the fact that it's, like, it's not a choice, it's just how they were actually born. Khalid now regrets his marriage and says he wouldn't do it again. But he doesn't believe his family would be upset by his deception. I don't think they'd be shocked. I almost think my mother would be proud that I did it to save the family's name and they're standing within the community. But they wouldn't understand the reason why I couldn't do it anymore and why it felt I wanted to get a divorce and live the life I wanted to live. Khalid ending Sabir's report there. Well, the majority of people using these websites are from the Hindu and Muslim faiths, but the two religions have quite differing opinions. It's the older generation uh, who need to uh, become perhaps more aware uh, and more knowledgeable of the fact that uh, it's not against a religion, uh, it, it is uh, a societal pressure. I would recommend to those people who are doing this, do not do two wrongs, because two wrongs will not make it right. If you are struggling with your faith, that's your personal journey with God. However, deceiving other people is in itself a moral problem. Well, Sabia joins us now in the studio. Sabia, this is a real problem, especially for Muslims, isn't it? Because in Islam, homosexuality is classed as a sin, pure and simple. Yeah, I think it's important to note, though, that the act itself is prohibited. I spoke to lots of local imams whilst working on this issue, and a lot of them were saying the same thing, is that feeling attracted to somebody of the same gender isn't sinful because you're not judged by what you're feeling or your emotions, but it's acting on those impulses that makes it a sin. I think that's very similar to the Roman Catholic view as well. So clearly a, a sin for Muslims, but example, the Hindu castle say homosexuality is not against their religion. So why are marriages of convenience still happening? Then? 
I think that sometimes the culture can be more restrictive than religion. Now, what do I mean by culture? It's your community, it's your society, it's your family and what they expect of you. Now, in this case, they're expe expecting a heterosexual marriage. That's a man and a woman. Now, if you're gay, obviously you can't go down that route, but you feel those kind of pressures to conform to those expectations. I think another point is that South Asian communities have been dealing with homosexuality for a long time, but how they've been dealing with it is brushing it under the carpet. Now, some people have been saying to me, actually, the first thing we need to do is break down the stigma of talking about sex, break down the stigma about talking about relationships, and actually provide safe spaces so young people can talk about how they're feeling, what they're going through, so that they're supported, so they're not pushed down these routes to lie and deceive their families and their communities. Is that a realistic thing, Sabia? Is society changing or will this deception continue? I mean, we've seen it in different religions. I mean, look at the um, Anglican Church, the Roman Catholics themselves are moving towards a more progressive, liberal kind of approach. I think even uh, within the Muslim faith, there are fringe minority views that are coming through and saying, actually, yeah, homosexuality is permissible. This is something between the individual and their God. It's a personal and private kind of belief. Who, who are you to judge? And I think those views are coming through and they will, as, as a new generation comes through, they will they will start changing. Sabia, thank you very much.